Hey guys, Evan Kozak with Thoroughbred Custom Homes, and today we're talking insulation. We're talking about why we've decided that this isn't good enough and why we do most of our builds with open cell spray foam. And we're not gonna talk necessarily about the R value or the heating and cooling ability of spray foam versus fiberglass or anything like that. There's plenty of videos out there on that. One of the more important things that we like about it is that we get a, what's called a conditioned attic. So let's jump into that. So when I talk about a conditioned attic, what I'm referring to is typically on the floor you would see a bunch of fluffy insulation that lays on the ceiling of the house. Instead, what we do with spray foam is it actually gets applied to the roof line of the house up top. So, because of that, when we're standing here in the attic, we are technically in the condition space. And while this isn't necessarily got AC and heat ducting in it, it is taking the AC and duct from uh, AC and heat from below as it comes through the drywall, which creates somewhat of a condition space up here. And typically these conditioned attics will stay about 10 degrees plus or minus from the floor below. So if we're at 72 degrees below, usually the max temperature we'll get to in the summertime up here is 82. Whereas if you live in North Texas and you've ever been in your normal attic, you're talking 110, 120 degrees plus. So with the conditioned attic staying at a similar temperature to below, that brings up a few benefits. Here in North Texas, we get extreme heat in the summer and we get pretty dang cold in the winter, especially over the last few seasons where we've had some serious freezes. And what that means is all of our equipment is housed inside the insulation. So we've got our furnaces, we've got the dehumidifier, we've also got our water heater behind us. All of these items are gonna be within the condition space of the house, which means that they're gonna stay nice and warm in the winter and nice and cool in the summer, and they're just gonna last longer. The other aspect of that is with the AC ducting, there's an R8 insulation around the ducting that is to keep that nice and cool or nice and warm when it's traveling through it. But in addition to the insulation that's wrapped around it, you also have the full insulation of the house around it as well. So another benefit to using spray foam, it's kind of indirect, but when you use spray foam, the appliances, and by appliances I mean water heaters and furnaces and anything that goes in the attic up here that has to exhaust, has to be a high efficiency appliance. So we're getting energy efficiency out of the appliances that are up here as well. So you'll notice like on this tankless water heater behind me, it's actually got PVC piping for the intake and exhaust, where you would typically see a metal going through there. That's because you can see the spray foam is actually touching this pipe. And if it wasn't a high efficiency appliance, it would actually get so hot that it could potentially catch the spray foam on fire. So obviously we don't want that. And we use all high efficiency appliances that burn off at least 95% of the energy prior to going out the exhaust, which gets our homeowners more energy efficient appliances and a more energy efficient home in the end as well. So those of you who have been living in North Texas the last few winters, like I have, have dealt with some serious freezes, including what most called snowmageddon for a couple weeks back there. And one of the biggest issues that happens here in North Texas when we do get a freeze like that is everybody gets concerned about their water pipes freezing in their house, potentially bursting, and, you know, creates all sorts of issues. So here behind me, we've got some water lines and they have the standard insulation on them that they typically do. But a benefit to our homes are we're inside a conditioned attic that has spray foam on the roof line. And therefore this whole area stays warmer than it would in an unconditioned attic. So in an unconditioned attic in Texas, you're below freezing in these freezes up in the attic. So all you've got is that little bit of foam around your pipes out here. In ours, we stay nice and warm in the attic up here. The insulation helps even more no frozen pipes. So as you can see, using spray foam insulation is not just about our value and how it keeps the heat and cool in the house. There's a lot of insulations that do a great job of that. But using spray foam in the way that we do and creating a conditioned attic creates a ton of benefits for our clients and makes their home live extremely comfortable. If you're looking to build a house in North Texas, please give us a call. We'd love to talk to you. Thanks. Have a great one.